हेलो गाइस गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू द क्लास वेलकम टू द इंडिया मोस्ट कॉम्प्रहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज द बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप एंड वेलकम वेलकम वंस अगेन टू द चैंपियन सीरीज यस गाइस द गेट चैंपियन सीरीज जस्ट लेट मी अपडेट दिस ओके Yes, guys. Very, very good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class and welcome to the India's most comprehensive preparation platform. all right yes guys so let's get started let's get moving on students uh, joining i am good anubhav hi pranjal okay okay let's get moving on guys let us get moving on here okay chalo so students are joining i think yeah started joining yes good evening monica चलो सो लेट्स बिगिन अप गाइस लेट्स बिगिन अप द सेशन दिस इज अ ब्रीफ इंटर अबाउट मी टू बिगिन विद दिस इज योर मेंटर एंड एजुकेटर राकेश सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक नाइन्थ इन द गेट एग्जामिनेशन एंड कंप्लीटेड माय मास्टर्स फ्रॉम द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस बेंगलुरु इट्स बीन मोर देन ट्वेल्व ईयर्स हैविंग ट्रेन मोर देन फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर माई कॉमन एरिया ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज एंड टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम सो गाइज एज यू नो दिस इज द गेट चैंपियन सीरीज विच इज अ लाइव गेट वर्क बुक येस वी स्टार्टेड दिस इनिशियटिव on the byju's exam prep youtube english channel right to cover up more than yes guys in this gate champion series we are covering more than 500 technical questions relevant to your branch okay divided that subject wise and subject wise also we have divided into the important topics and as you know signal and system one of the very important topic is the continuous time fourier transform as well as the continuous time fourier series ओके गुड इवनिंग सागर गुड इवनिंग हेमा चिन्मॉय वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल ओके ऑल्सो गाइज लेट मी कीप यू अपडेटेड दैट टुमारो एट एट पी एम दैट इज टुमारो थर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर विच इज ट्यूजडे ओके आई एम गोइंग टू कम लाइव धीरज सरदाना सर इज गोइंग टू कम लाइव येस वी आर गोइंग टू कम लाइव टू गेट ऑल योर डाउट्स क्लियर डाउट्स रिगार्डिंग वॉट डाउट्स एनी थिंग डाउट्स एनी थिंग regarding your gate preparation your academics your subjects anything any type of difficulty you face will be there okay so me and dheeraj sir join us live tomorrow and this is a session on the app this is a session to be conducted on the byju's exam prep app the session to be conducted on the byju's exam prep app okay right चलो गाइस सो क्विक रिव्यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिकॉज एज यू नो इन दिस सीरीज वी आर कवरिंग अप द क्वेश्चंस एंड क्वेश्चंस बट विद एवरी क्वेश्चन आई मे हैव टू टेल द फॉर्मूला सो बेटर अ क्विक रिव्यू ऑफ फॉर्मूला इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज देन गोइंग टू द क्वेश्चंस एंड देन आई एम स्टार्टिंग विथ फोर यर ट्रांसफॉर्म फर्स्ट द सी फर्स्ट बिकॉज वंस यू लर्न सी ना देन वी विल गो टू सी ऑल्सो बट आई विल टेल यू द शॉर्टकट्स टू हैंडल सी थ्रू सी okay so many of the questions of ctfs can be handled with the shortcut so that also i will add on that is why i'll prefer here to start with ctft right so we all know the formula this is just you know uh, i have brought everything into the slide so that when i share you the pdf okay <coughs> excuse me so that when i share you the pdf and i share you the content i am going to give you all of this as the notes okay a quick revision this will be like a quick review notes of the fourier transform okay so we all know fourier transform is evaluated as integral minus infinity to infinity xt e power minus j omega t and the inverse fourier transform xt we calculate as 1 upon 2 pi integral x omega e power plus j omega t d omega now for any fourier transform to converge it should satisfy the following dirichlet's condition and the most important one the last two is commonly for random signals let us fix to the first one that the signal should be absolutely integrable i am just going to review these points quickly right okay right so uh, yeah we'll come to dtfs also dtfs also will come dtft also will come good evening good evening shiva okay so uh, let's quickly review the point so that we'll go to the question the target in the champion series is question okay so signal should be absolutely integrable that is integral mod xt dt should be finite 
okay now important properties of the fourier transform all together so i'm telling you again and again this is what i have brought so that i can give you as the entire notes a quick review note this is like revision notes everything available then let us focus on the uh, questions so if two signals are added fourier transforms are also added time shifting if there is shifting in the time domain there is a phase term exponential term in the fourier domain so fourier transform becomes e power minus j omega t naught x omega x of a t has the fourier transform 1 upon mod a x omega by a that simply means that that simply means that if i take the case of x of t by 2 which is expansion so what is the Fourier transform for x of t by 2? 1 upon 1 upon 1 by 2. That will become 2. x of omega upon half. Omega upon half will become 2 omega actually. So x of t by 2 we all know. x of t by 2 we all know represents expansion. So if there is expansion in the time domain, what happens? x2 omega. 2 omega. Here the factor of scaling is 2 which is greater than 1. So here there will be compression. So we can also say that whenever there is expansion in the time domain, there is compression in the frequency domain and vice versa. Next property, time folding. If there is a folding in the time domain, the Fourier transform is also folded x minus omega. Very, very important property of duality. Okay. Very, very important property of duality. X of t, capital X of t. So it, it's just like that. It's just like that, ki, you know, x of t is having the Fourier transform x of omega, then capital xt that means converting the omega function into time domain we get the fourier transform as 2 pi x minus omega we get the fourier transform as 2 pi x where x is the time domain function we substitute here we substitute here right so put down omega equal to t here and then put down t equal to minus omega here that is what is the duality property Okay, then we have the conjugation x conjugate t has the Fourier transform x conjugate minus omega. Differentiation property when the signal is differentiated, the Fourier transform is multiplied by j omega. Fourier transform is j omega x omega. If you differentiate n times, j omega power n will be multiplied. Okay, integration property or oh, this is integral minus infinity set t. Okay, integral minus infinity set t x tau d tau will have the Fourier transform x omega by j omega plus pi x zero del omega. Frequency differentiation or this is also known as this is also known as t times property t times property when you multiply signal xt with t the Fourier transform become j d by d omega of x omega that is the differentiation in frequency domain next one frequency shifting like duality time shift phase term time shift phase term exponential term frequency shift there will be a phase term in the time domain. Okay, so e power j omega naught t will have the Fourier transform x omega minus omega naught. But always remember that in the frequency shift property, the sign of omega naught will be different. If you have shifted x omega minus omega naught, here it is the plus j omega naught t. And vice versa also true. Convolution, very regular property. If two signals are convoluted in time, they are multiplied in frequency. Or if they are multiplied in time, they are convoluted in the frequency domain x1 omega convolution with the x2 omega modulation more important in analog communication theory but yeah it's a continuation of Fourier transform when you multiply a signal xt with cos omega not t whenever you multiply any signal with cosine signal its spectrum is shifted to higher frequencies x omega minus omega not x omega plus omega not whole divide by 2 its spectrum is shifted to higher frequencies which is centered at omega not which is centered at plus or minus omega not right then some important symmetry property, very important, you know, you can directly expect the factual question also from here. Okay, factual question also from here. If a signal is complex, Fourier transform will be complex. If a signal is real, the Fourier transform is conjugate symmetric. What is that conjugate symmetric? That Fourier transform for negative value is equal to the conjugate of the Fourier transform of positive values. X minus omega is equal to X conjugate omega. That is what is conjugate symmetry wherever a signal is real. Okay, if a signal is real and even Fourier transform is also real and even if signal is real and odd Fourier transform becomes pure imaginary and odd and if the signal is conjugate symmetric again duality in dono ko dekho if the signal is conjugate symmetric the Fourier transform will be real the Fourier transform will be real so these are important symmetry properties. Okay, then we have uh, one more property related with Fourier transform that is application of Fourier transform. Uh, it can be sometimes used to find the area under the curve, right? For some of the functions xt whose area can be complicated in time domain, 
you can easily obtain by the we'll take the questions also you can be easily obtained by Fourier transform integral x t dt we know the formula of Fourier transform just put omega equal to zero so you get integral x t dt that is simple okay so integral x t dt is equal to x zero that simply means what is equal to x zero what is this x zero x zero simply means the value of the Fourier transform at zero frequency we can also relate it to the DC term we can also relate it to the DC Term. The Parseval's theorem uh, enabling to find the energy for an energy signal or power for a power signal. The energy for an energy signal in time domain is integral mod xt square dt, integral minus infinity to infinity mod of xt square dt and that is equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral x omega whole square d omega. Integral mod x omega whole square d omega and for a power signal which we calculate the power I have taught you in the earlier sessions power is energy in one time period divided by time period and that is equal to summation mod ck square where ck is the Fourier series coefficient we will come to the Fourier series also okay ck is the Fourier series coefficient of that periodic signal of that periodic signal xt okay now some important Fourier transform pair which will be repeatedly used in question either sometimes as a one mark question they come directly or they are very useful in the question like unit impulse delta t has the Fourier transform 1, 1 will have the Fourier transform 2 pi del omega duality se nikal sakte isko right but we are not deriving see guys this is a session oriented for champion series just we have learned we are now revising the formula so that we don't go to questions every time uh, with questions we don't go to revision every time so i'm revising important formula this also becomes a good source of notes for you i will share the pdf pdf will be password protected password i will tell you in some time right so we can focus on the questions once we are just revised all the formula okay no not important uh, exponential form and trigonometric form ka gender is important okay e power minus a t u t has the Fourier transform 1 upon a omega a uh, 1 upon a plus j omega for positive value of a e power minus a mod t 2 a upon a square plus omega square t e power minus a t this is derived using the frequency differentiation property will have the Fourier transform 1 upon a plus j omega whole square u t has the Fourier transform 1 upon j omega plus pi del omega signum t has the Fourier transform 2 by j omega e power j omega naught t has the Fourier transform 2 pi del omega minus omega naught okay cos omega naught t has the Fourier transform consisting of two impulses located at fundamental frequency pi del omega minus omega naught plus del omega plus omega naught similarly you can note for sin omega naught t rec t by t this is very important Achha, some of the pairs which are very important for the questions which are very very important for the questions okay which can be asked which can be related with the questions and then sampling at e power minus a t square this is the gaussian actually okay rec t by t having the Fourier transform t sampling omega t by 2 so now see when i say rec t by t you should understand rec t by t is a normal uh, standard representation of the rectangle function i will draw it here rec t by t means a rectangle which is centered at the origin and having the total base this capital t is the total duration capital t is known as the total duration that means it is a rectangle from minus t by 2 say plus t by 2 okay similarly when i talk about tri on the other hand when i want to talk about the tri isko dekh lete hai. when i want to talk about the tri tri t by t is a triangular waveform where the triangle is located between the minus t to the plus t so total width here is 2t okay but the total width of the triangle is t a rectangle is t now the rect has the Fourier transform sampling function t sampling omega t by 2 and triangle has the sampling Fourier transform in the form of sampling square okay yeah you can also note it in the form of sync okay some people remember in the form of sync but they go what is sampling x sampling x is simply known as sin x upon x right on the other hand what is the definition of sync x function sync x is known as sin pi x whole divided by pi x right so sin pi x upon pi x here if i want to put pi x here in the above equation if i want to put pi x i will get the result that sync x is equal to sampling pi x right sync x is equal to sampling pi x right so that you can write down these functions you can write down these functions this becomes how much t sync t sync okay 
कन्वर्टिंग फ्रॉम सैंपलिंग टू सिंग हैव टू डिवाइड बाय पाई तो ओमेगा टी अपॉन टू पाई ओमेगा अपॉन टू पाई इज ऑल्सो नोन एस ओमेगा अपॉन टू पाई इज ऑल्सो नोन एस एफ तो यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इट इन द एफ फॉर्म टी सिंक एफ ऑफ टी टी सिंक एफ ऑफ टी राइट Okay, similarly you can convert sampling square again by the duality. Rect has the Fourier transform sampling, so sampling will have the Fourier transform in the form of rect. Sampling at has the Fourier transform pi by a rect omega by two a. Okay, right. In Telegram you find PDF AVS, ah, na? You find the PDFs. Sampling square will have the uh, Fourier transform in the form of triangle. This is the Gaussian. e power minus a t square will have the Fourier transform root pi by a e power minus omega square by 4a and that is also in the form of sampling. So sample sorry that is also in the form of Gaussian. So Gaussian has a Fourier transform which is again a Gaussian signal, which is again a Gaussian signal. Okay, that is there in my Telegram group AVSR. I will share you the link. Don't worry. So guys, this is what is the see what I have done till now is made you revise so that every questions okay. Every questions we don't have to just you know revise the formula now and then. So we have the important Fourier transform pairs. We have the properties revised. We have the Parseval's theorem, area application of Fourier transform, basic condition. All those things revised. Okay, I all those things revised. Let's go here with the first question now. Determine the Fourier transform of the signal given below. So some properties, some miscellaneous properties will be used here. Some miscellaneous properties will be used here. Come on, guys! Quickly try to attempt this question. Okay, just allow me a minute's time. I need to plug in the charger. I think. Okay. Yeah. Now sorted. Thank you. Determine the Fourier transform of x t is equal to d by d t of two t e per minus two t u t. Yes, Gajendra. Of course, the signal should be continuous and differentiable. Let's come here, guys, and let's start solving these questions now. Okay. We have uh, given around uh, fifteen twenty minutes of time to revise the properties and formula. Very briefly, I've revised. I've just shown you actually, but that was only the intent. Okay, and now let's start the question. Do not forget to like the session. Let's start the question with the positive motivation now. Okay, A, C, D. Three options I have seen till now. A, C, or D. Now, see, two t e power minus two t u t. So, can we start with t e power minus two t u t? We know the Fourier transform of this. T e power minus two t u t का Fourier transform पता है, right? See, what is the value of A? A is equal to two, which is positive. So, I can apply the formula. What is the formula? What is the formula? One upon a plus j omega whole square. One upon two plus j omega whole square. Now only thing is we need to differentiate this d by dt of two t e power minus two t u t. अच्छा two भी आएगा भी will have the Fourier transform. Differentiation means j omega. Okay, j omega times into two. Into two upon two plus j omega whole square. So this is a simple question. Sometimes questions look complicated. अलग कोई question looks कि यार कुछ नया करना पड़ेगा. It is a very regular question. So what it is? What it is? What it is? Option number option number A. Two j omega upon two plus j omega whole square. Many of you have come up with C. Many of you have come up with C. देखो C कैसे आएगा? How C? How the C is coming? Differentiation. तो j omega is multiplied. How the C is coming? Yeah, I think uh, one of you gave A only, right? But how it is C? C is not possible. D B I R D नहीं है. It is two J omega upon two plus J omega whole square. Yes, very good, Amita. A is the correct answer. Okay, guys, any doubt? Please ask me. C is not correct. Many of you come up with C. I don't know why it is. Let's go to the next question. 
लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके ओके नेक्स्ट वन डिटरमाइन द फोर यूर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ फोर्टी अपॉन वन प्लस टी स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर अरे Now see, I have given you some Fourier transform pair to be remembered. That is what you have to remember usually. Whatever Fourier transform pairs I have given you, although which are more important, I have highlighted here. But these are some pairs you have to remember as a formula so that you can solve the questions comfortably. Okay. But then there can be questions not only on those formula, something else, some other functions given to you, right? Forty upon one plus t square whole square. Which property can come up here? Forty upon one plus t square ka whole square. What can come up here? Think about like this. Think about like this. One plus omega square in the denominator. A square plus omega square in the denominator. ये आपने कब देखा है? E raised to the power minus a mod t has the Fourier transform 2a upon a square plus omega square for a greater than zero. I hope you are able to remember this. Right. ओके नाउ बट सर दिस इज नॉट ओनली वन प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर वन प्लस टी स्क्वायर वन प्लस टी स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर एंड न्यूमरेटर टी हेयर देर इज नो टी और नो ओमेगा इन द न्यूमरेटर सो वॉट टू डू नाउ वॉट टू डू नाउ नाउ फर्स्ट आई विल अप्लाई द फ्रीक्वेंस फर्स्ट आई विल अप्लाई द फ्रीक्वेंसी डिफरेंशिएशन टी ई पावर माइनस ए मॉट टी टी ई पावर माइनस ए मॉट टी हैज द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म जे डी बाई डी ओमेगा फ्रीक्वेंसी डिफरेंशिएशन प्रॉपर्टी अच्छा सबसे पहले तो एक काम करो ओके वी हैव द ए इक्वल टू वन दिया तो पुट डाउन ए इक्वल टू वन ओके तो टू अपॉन वन प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर ओके वी नीड टू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस और यहां पे भी ए का वैल्यू वन रख देते हैं सो वी हैव टी ई पावर माइनस मॉट टी ओके आई पुट ए इक्वल टू वन डिफरेंशिएट ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड ओके डिफरेंशिएट ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो वेन यू डिफरेंशिएट ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द रिजल्ट जे One upon x differentiation minus one by x square. Okay, then one plus omega square. By the chain rule, you differentiate, you get two omega. So eventually, your differentiation is minus four j omega upon one plus omega square whole square. Now you can come up with one more property. It is a question combining combining two two power two things. Let's take an extra slide here. T e power minus mod t now has the Fourier transform minus four j omega. Divided by one plus omega square whole square. Okay, now four t upon one plus t square whole square. We need to convert omega into t. We need to apply duality. We need to apply what? We need to apply the duality now. Duality put omega equal to t. So minus four j t divided by one plus t square whole square will have the Fourier transform two pi. put t equal to minus omega to 2 pi minus omega e power minus mod minus omega right so now minus minus to cancel ho jayega we need 4 t upon 1 plus t square whole square good property based question very good property based question cancel the minus minus and send a j on the other side this is equal to 2 pi omega upon j but sir 1 upon j 1 upon j will be minus j i am directly writing 1 upon j will be minus j to so minus j 2 pi omega e power minus mod omega because mod of minus 1 is 1 only so there is no role of minus inside the modulus at least that is a even symmetric function actually to so minus j 2 pi omega e power minus mod omega what is that d option ready for you minus j 2 pi omega e power minus mod omega got this good question based on the properties that is why very beginning i revised all the properties so that our questions are not hampered yes yes subham shri payar shiva d correct answer ah then we can again think uh, i told you the general dn by dt power n also ramesh okay yes karan correct next question sir ready for you let xt be having the fourier transform x omega so let xt and x omega are the fourier transform pair what is the fourier transform of 5t minus 3 What is the Fourier transform of 5t minus 3? What is the Fourier transform? Property-based question again. Xt has the Fourier transform x omega, right? So, see guys, now in this question there is shifting and scaling both. Whether to apply shifting property, whether to apply scaling property. What we will do is we will just follow the precedence rule, same rule which you follow in sketching the signal. How to sketch the xt minus? How to sketch the x 5t minus 3? You can do anything actually scaling or shifting first. But what does the precedence rule says? What does the priority rule says? That first shift 
and then scale so that you don't commit any error. The first shift, the first we will only apply the shifting case. So x of t minus 3 has the Fourier transform. Time shifting corresponds to phase term, exponential term, e power minus j, 3 omega, phase term in the right hand side. Then, then 5t, 8t, right, 8t, x of 5t minus 3, x of 5t minus 3, we will have the Fourier transform, 1 upon a, sorry, 1 upon 5, x of omega by 5, right, everywhere omega right hand side will be replaced by omega by 5. So, correct answer is option number A. Correct answer is option number A. And for this one, all, uh, you know, some of you have come up with the correct answer initially only. Yes, Sagar, Gajendra, Subhamshri, Amitha, Shiva. Correct answer is A. Next question. Okay. Chalo, this is again a time shift based question. So, kindly take it as homework. Few questions I will keep on adding as homeworks as well. So, this is a time shift based regular question. Okay, x of t minus 5, u of t minus 1 based on the time shift. But only thing you have to take care is, here it is t minus 5, here it is t minus 1. Only thing that you can do is write down this as t minus 1 minus 4 and split the term. Then it will be easy to solve. Okay. Yeah, John Philip, sure, we will plan that. Okay, t minus 1 minus 4. Write down like this, okay. Okay, next one guys, this is a homework for you. Consider the signal xt which is equal to 1 for mod t less than 1 and it is equal to 0 otherwise. Find the Fourier transform of xt. Find the Fourier transform of xt. Find the Fourier transform of the signal xt. Tell me. Find the Fourier transform of the signal xt. Adhiko, this is a very simple case. Yeah, this is a very simple case. But, but actually three questions are based on this. Okay, three questions based on this. There are going to be three questions based on this. So, this is what is the signal xt which is equal to 1 for mod t less than 1. Mod t less than 1 means t is between minus 1 to 1. The t is between minus 1 to 1. The t is between the minus 1 to the 1. The t is between the minus 1 to the plus 1. Okay. Okay, so xt is equal to 1. So eventually, what is xt actually? Eventually, the xt is nothing but a rectangular signal. Rect of t by 2. What is the total duration that you have to see? Total duration of the rectangle is 2 and hence the value of capital T is 2. So this is nothing but rect t by 2. So my Fourier transform pair is ready. Na? What is the Fourier transform pair? What is the Fourier transform pair? We have revised already rect of t by t. Very, very important pair t sampling omega t by 2 so t ka value rakh denge 2 right so you have 2 sampling omega t t ki jagah again rakha 2 omega 2 by 2 so your answer is 2 sampling omega Achha, sometimes they will not mention in sampling omega so what is sampling x is sin x by x so this is 2 sin omega by omega this is 2 sin omega by omega option number c option number c Right. Now, I told you this, this is a very simple direct question, but yeah, sometimes gate can ask you this direct one marker question also. Sometimes then gate can ask you the direct one marker question also. Okay. Chalo. Now, next question based on this. Consider the signal xt is equal to 1 for mod t less than 1, 0 otherwise. Find the Fourier transform of yt as shown below. Find the Fourier transform of yt as shown below. Right. Right. Fourier transform yt as shown below. Uh, Gajendra, very honestly, uh, I have got to know about BHEL. Uh, but since almost 3 p.m., I am continuously packed with classes. And between the classes only, I got to know. So, personally, I haven't seen that notification in detail. Allow me time today. I will see today and can update you tomorrow. Okay. Because since 3 p.m., I was there in classes continuously. Some of the other class. So, I will see. I'll, then I will update you. Okay. Find the Fourier transform of yt as shown below yt as shown below okay but i heard less seats but i heard suni uh, suni baat hai but i heard uh, it is there double e around less seats are there for double e double e computer science less seats mechanical civil little more seats but it is there exact i don't remember because i just heard it from dheerat sir only yeah i heard it from dheerat sir only chalo so tell me now guys what is the relation of this question with the given signal xt and with the previous question xt 
So guys, what is this waveform actually? What is this waveform? Isn't it a straight line? It's a straight line. It's a ramp having the slope 1, right? What is the slope of this line? Height upon base. Height v1 hai, base v1 hai. So this is having the slope of 1, height upon base. So since it's a straight line having slope 1, what we can write for this? The equation of this is yt is equal to t. But, but actually I can say y of t is equal to t. But is it always t? No, that is equal to t when minus 1 less than t less than 1. It is there between minus 1 to 1 again, guys. Okay, that means this is t into 1 when minus 1 less than t less than 1. And a signal, look at this part. Look at this part. A signal which is equal to 1 between minus 1 to 1 is the previous signal xt, isn't it? Is the previous signal xt. Okay, so what I can say is yt is equal to txt. So this is related to the previous question. Property based approach I am making. Property based approach. This is txt. So what is the yt here? So that is txt. So what is y omega? t times property frequency differentiation property j d by d omega of x omega. What is the x omega? The answer for the previous question. The answer for the previous question was 2 sin omega by omega, right? Differentiate now simply and get the answer, guys. So, this is equal to j. Differentiation of numerator by denominator, 2 constant hai. So, it, let me write it as 2j. Yeah, omega square. Omega constant differentiation of sin omega is cos omega. Minus sin omega constant differentiation of omega is 1. So, what should be the answer? Answer is 2j. Yeah, yeah, 2j. Cos omega by omega, one of the omega cancelled, minus sin omega by omega square. Option number B. Option number B. Option number B. Got this? It's a good question based on property. This one I can call it as the good question based on the property. This one is the good question based on property. All okay guys. Next question. Next, one more question based on this one. Okay, one more question. This is the first here. This is the second. Okay, here will three questions. And this is the third. Find the Fourier transform of yt as shown now. yt as shown now. Find the value of yt as shown now. Think about this. Chalo, ab dekho. What is the relevance of this question? What was the signal xt? Let me place down xt in front of you so that you are able to relate it with the xt signal. Okay, it's a question again related with the xt. So, I am again sketching the xt here guys and xt was a signal which is equal to 1 between minus 1 to 1. Okay, now have a look into this. Have a look into this. No, no, unit step is not needed. When you integrate, listen to me guys, when you integrate the xt for t less than minus 1, what is the result you get? When you integrate the xt for t less than minus 1, the integrate means calculate the area of this part, it is nothing, it is 0. Okay, so here you have 0, number 1 point. Okay, now when you integrate the signal between minus 1 to 1, what is the value between minus 1 to 1? Let me write down these steps t less than minus 1. Okay, t less than minus 1. Integral minus infinity se t x tau d tau ka value kitna hoga? That is 0. For t less than minus 1, integration of this signal is 0. Area under the curve is 0. Right. When t is actually between minus 1 to 1, integral minus infinity se t x tau d tau sir. Now, that is what is the definition of x t. x t is 1 for any value of time between minus 1 to 1. So, ye ho jayega integral minus infinity actually minus 1 to t actually minus 1 to t and what is the value of the signal 1 d tau 1 d tau L integration of d tau is tau lower limit minus 1 upper limit t upper limit minus lower limit minus minus okay plus 1 so this is t plus 1 sir this is t plus 1 it is a straight line and that is what is this straight line actually this is again having the this is again having the slope 1 height is 2 and base is also 2 Right. Here it is equal to t plus y intercept. Y equal to mx plus c. What is the y intercept? Now since slope is 1, ye 1 aega. 
right this this much of the base is 1 so this much of the height is equal to 1 so this is y equal to mx plus c this is of the form mx plus c x ki jagah t aayega it's a function of time but this is of the form mx plus c okay now when t is greater than 1 what is integral minus infinity say t x tau d tau for t greater than 1 for t greater than 1 right you are integrating from minus infinity up to any t suppose any t which is greater than 1 so you are integrating the entire function and integration of the entire function is equal to area is equal to area what is the area of the rectangle sir height into base height have 1 base had 2 so this is equal to 2 and that is what is coming up here that is what is coming up here for t greater than 1 y t equal to 2 that means these particular calculations show that these particular calculations show that the given signal y t is nothing but integration minus infinity city x tau d tau okay minus infinity city x tau d tau so integration property will come kya likha mene y t is given by integral minus infinity city x tau d tau so what is going to be the y omega sir what is going to be the y omega y omega integration property says that y omega is x omega upon j omega plus pi x zero del omega right what is the value of x omega x omega is the first question answer that is 2 sin omega by omega to yaha pe place kar denge that becomes 2 sin omega upon omega so it becomes j omega square okay plus pi x0 to x0 kitna hua what is the x0 2 sin 0 by 0 is 1 sin theta limit theta tending to 0 sin theta by theta is 1 here yeah, you must be knowing sin sin sampling 0 is 1 sampling 0 is 1 to yaha pe aaya 2 so this becomes 2 pi del omega to ye aapka answer ho gaya 2 sin omega by j omega square plus 2 pi del omega 2 sin omega plus upon j omega square plus 2 pi del omega option number d properties and basic formulas if you are clear you are able to handle good questions also of the Fourier transform ye dhyan rakhna hai you are able to handle the good questions also of the Fourier transform okay any doubt if you are having by chance please tell it to me please tell it to me okay Chalo guys, moving ahead to the next question and if you are able to understand the solution, if you are able to grasp the concepts, do not forget to like the session also. Find the Fourier transform. Chalo, ye mein aapke liye homework dunga, but I will give you the hints. I will give you the hints. Don't worry about that. So, dekho, isko kaise approach karenge? This is nothing but because already we have solved sampling, sampling, sampling ke cases na. Right? Say the doubt Ravi better. Repeat to fir, wahi repeat karunga. So, better you ask the doubt. So, this is like sin t upon t into sin t by 2 divide by t to so divide by t by 2 into 2 kia and there is a 1 by pi separate and there is a 1 by pi separate so this function na, xt so this function xt is 1 upon pi sampling t multiplied by sampling t by 2 and there is one more 2 so yaha pe aajayega 2 pi Achha, now let's suppose let's suppose ki this is x1 t this is x2 t so two signals are multiplied two signals are multiplied two signals are multiplied Aray, Ravi, that is the property na integration property x omega j omega plus pi x0 del omega what is x0 2 sin 0 by 0 what is sin 0 by 0 is 1 limit x tending to 0 sin x by x is equal to 1 so that is why I substituted 2 here so what is the property you are going to apply two signals are multiplied so what is going to be the x omega so xt sorry xt will have the Fourier transform x omega and that is that is 1 upon 2 pi which is already there right 1 upon 2 pi it should be actually reverse pi here already given here ah, surprising because x1 t multiplied by x2 t will have the Fourier transform once again 1 upon 2 pi no problem x1 omega convolution with the x2 omega so convolution now why this is simple for you Dekho, dhyan ratna. sampling a Fourier transform is rect so you are going to get two rectangles 
ऑफ अनइक्वल ड्यूरेशन द रिजल्ट इज अ ट्रपीजियम ओके आंसर कुछ ट्रपीजियम सा आएगा आंसर विल बी समथिंग लाइक ट्रपीजियम और यू कैन स्केच इट अप तो दिस इज द होमवर्क फॉर यू दिस पार्ट इज द होमवर्क फॉर यू ओके हिंट आई हैव गिवन यू सफिशिएंट हिंट आई हैव गिवन टू यू नाउ कैलकुलेशंस यू कैन कंप्लीट कैलकुलेशंस यू कैन कंप्लीट फ्रॉम हियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ सिग्नल वन मोर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दैट प्रीवियस वन इसको तो वहीं पे रख देते हैं आई थिंक दिस इज कंटिन्यू ऑफ दैट आई थिंक दिस इज कम अपर या आई विल प्लेस इट हियर सो दिस एक्चुअली बिकम्स द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन ऑफ दैट सीरीज इट एक्चुअली बिकम्स द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन ऑफ द सीरीज मैंने लिखा था ना यहाँ पे वन टू थ्री लेट मी मेक इट एज वन टू फोर सो ऑन द सेम रेक्ट फंक्शन वी हैव मेड फोर क्वेश्चन आई थिंक दैट गॉट मिक्सड अप देयर सो दिस वन इज द फोर्थ पार्ट Fourier transform of the convoluted signal x two t convolution x t by two. It's a question based on the Fourier transform property. You don't have to find x two t. You don't have to find x t by two, right? We have already calculated x t, which is having the Fourier transform x omega, where x omega is already first question answer two sine omega by omega. That is the first question answer. Now y of t is x of two t. Convolution with x of t by two. So what should be the y of omega? Y of omega x two t one by two x of omega by two. Convolution in time is multiplication in frequency. Okay, so multiplied by the Fourier transform of x t by two, that will become two sam two x two omega. Time scaling property. Okay, two say two cancel x omega by two x omega by two is two. साइन ओमेगा टू डिवाइड बाय ओमेगा बाय टू इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू से टू तो कैंसिल हो गया है देन सैम्पलिंग टू ओमेगा सो दैट इज अगेन टू साइन टू ओमेगा डिवाइड बाय टू ओमेगा सो ये वाला टू टू भी कैंसिल योर फाइनल आंसर विल बी योर फाइनल आंसर विल बी फोर डिनोमिनेटर का टू टू कैंसिल हुआ फोर साइन ओमेगा बाय टू साइन टू ओमेगा अपॉन ओमेगा स्क्वायर ऑप्शन नंबर ए सर ऑप्शन नंबर ए गाइस कम ऑन यस अभी था करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर ए सो दिस इज द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दैट प्रीवियस सीरीज राइट रवि करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर ए करेक्ट करेक्ट आंसर ओके चलो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट देन वेरी गुड लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट वन अच्छा दिस इज डन हाँ For the signal xt shown in the figure, find x zero and find integral minus infinity to infinity x omega d omega. Both are very simple. Both are very simple. देखो first वाला क्या बोला है? First वाला क्या बोला है? Capital x zero. What is capital x zero means? It is the value of the Fourier transform at omega equal to zero, and that is the property of area. That is the property area under the curve. Area under which curve? Area under x t. Now here x t is given to you. Can you not find the area under x t? Can you find the area under x t? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because because of my seminar, I could not plan it. I'll plan it, Gajendra. Don't worry. Right now, I'm not able to take out extra time. So many workload and classes are going on, and back to back uh, seminars are also going on. I have remember ADC, 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 DAC, and number system. The DE. ओके सो दैट आई विल कवर अप डोंट वरी तो यहां पे ध्यान देंगे आप राइट right? यहां पे ध्यान देंगे सो व्हाट इज द एरिया अंडर एक्स टी इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल केस इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल केस द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज अ रेक्टेंगल एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल इज हाइट इनटू बेस हाइट टू है बेस वन है ओके देन देन आ इट्स इवन बेटर और सिंपल कर देते हैं कैलकुलेट द टोटल एरिया एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट द एरिया ऑफ दिस डिप्रेशन What is the total area? Height into base. Height हो गया टू and total base minus वन to थ्री is equal to फोर So total area making a rect minus the area of the depression. And this depression is a triangular shape. Triangular shape. And what is the area of triangle? Half into base into height. What is the base? कहाँ से कहाँ तक जा रहा है? Zero से two. And what is the height here? Two से one. So that is equal to one. So two two is a cancel. Answer should be seven. Four two is a eight eight minus one. Seven should be the answer. Amita, just recheck seven. Seven is what is the answer? Okay. So rather than calculating the discrete parts area, total area of this rectangle minus the area of this depression that makes it simple. Property based question. Okay. Second वाला निकालें. Second वाला is even more simple. What is the second answer? This second answer is nothing but integral x omega d omega is what? Integral x omega d omega is what? 
टू पाई एक्स जीरो ना अरे वॉट डज द इनवर्स फुरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म फॉर्मूला से एक्स टी इज वन अपॉन टू पाई इंटीग्रल माइनस इंफिनिटी टू इंफिनिटी एक्स ओमेगा ई पावर प्लस जे ओमेगा टी डी ओमेगा नथिंग यू हैव टू जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ टू टी इक्वल टू जीरो शिफ्ट द टू पाई ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड तो टू पाई एक्स जीरो इज नोन एज इंटीग्रल एक्स ओमेगा डी ओमेगा ओके सो दैट इज एरिया अंडर एक्स ओमेगा प्रॉपर्टी एक्चुअली ओके दैट इज टू पाई एक्स जीरो सो वॉट इज द टू पाई एक्स जीरो वॉट इज दिस टू पाई एक्स जीरो एक्स जीरो द वैल्यू ऑफ द सिग्नल एक्स टी एट टी इक्वल टू जीरो t equal to zero pi it has the value of two so yahan pe put kiya two and the second answer is very simple four pi theek hai ji the second part is very simple the answer is four pi that's it concluded simple property based question this is what is the type of fourier transform questions you can expect theek hai chalte hain agle question ki taraf okay let's go for this one so guys in this series usually we are not covering the pyqs we want to bring you fresh question but is one good pyq let's uh, the fourier transform you can find many good pyq but i thought ek discuss kar lete of course we are not discussing pyq we have tried to bring you uh, fresh questions but let's go with this one for a function gt it is given that integral gt e power minus j omega t dt is pi e power minus 2 omega square if yt is integral minus infinity city g tau d tau then what is integral so here two or three properties will come and mix up here okay sabse pehle to g omega given hai what is this integral minus infinity to infinity e power minus j omega d dt are baba that is the fourier transform formula so what they have given is actually the fourier transform of gt that is g omega okay so what they have given there is a fourier transform g omega which is omega e power minus 2 omega square ab yt pe aate right now let us come to the yt guys and what is the value of yt that is given by integration minus infinity se t g of tau d tau g of tau d tau right so what is the value of y omega that is g omega by j omega plus pi g0 del omega okay so g omega by j omega that is omega e power minus 2 omega square upon j omega plus pi what is the value of g0 0 as you put omega equal to 0 straight away you get 0 into del omega right so omega to omega cancel e raised to the power minus 2 omega square divide by j राइट या वन अपॉन जे को माइनस जे कर देते हैं माइनस जे ई पावर माइनस टू ओमेगा स्क्वायर नाउ दैट इज ओनली वाई ओमेगा नाउ दे आर आस्किंग इंटीग्रल माइनस इन्फिनिटी इन्फिनिटी वाई टी डी टी यहीं पर सॉल्व कर लेते हैं दैट इज द एरिया अंडर वाई टी एंड एरिया अंडर वाई टी इज कैपिटल वाई जीरो द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म एट ओमेगा इक्वल टू जीरो वॉट इज द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म एट ओमेगा इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस जे ई पावर जीरो ओमेगा की जगह जीरो रखा ओके दैट इज वॉट इज एक्चुअली द वाई ओमेगा आंसर what i have calculated here is nothing but the y omega okay e power 0 is 1 so your answer is minus j your answer is option number b it's a good question yes amitha very good that is why i taken one pyq rest we have brought the other fresh questions but i thought ye to discuss kar lete hain integration property area property both mixed up here both mixed up here theek hai both mixed up here chalo ready for the next question what is the energy of the signal now parsevals what is the energy of the signal sampling 2 pi t main generalize kar deta hu this is a important case actually so xt is equal to sampling at let's take a general sampling function but what is the integration of sampling square guys what is the integration of the sampling square you will not be able to solve this integration you will not be able to complete this integration so let us go by the parsevals formula actually for those integrals which cannot be evaluated in the time domain let us go and apply the parsevals theorem where the parsevals theorem say that energy is integral minus 1 upon 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity modulus of x omega whole square d omega but what is the x omega 
वॉट शुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ओमेगा अब देखो सैम्पलिंग ए टी सैम्पलिंग ए टी हैज द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म पाई बाय ए रेक्ट ऑफ ओमेगा बाय टू ए पाई बाय ए रेक्ट ऑफ ओमेगा बाय टू ए ओके वी नो दैट दिस इज द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म नाउ वॉट इज द शेप if 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 we would like to sketch this fourier transform na pi by a rect of omega by 2a ek bar quickly sketch kar de agar isko omega by 2a so total base is 2a minus a 2a and the height is pi by a and the height is pi by a so according to the parseval's relation energy is 1 upon 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity but i only need to integrate minus a to a x omega whole square d omega okay and that is going to be solved as 1 upon 2 pi pi by a whole square into uh, d omega ka integral omega upper minus lower limit 2a aa jayega solving all of these terms you are going to get pi by a pi by a joules right so for the signal xt which is sampling at the energy of the signal is given by pi by a joules the energy is given by the pi by a joules so what is going to be the energy here what is going to be the energy here pi by a pi by 2 by 1 by 2 numerical answer type question to so 0.5 is the answer करेक्ट न्यूमेरिकल आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन 0.5 पॉइंट फाइव इज द आंसर जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इज द आंसर ठीक है जी चलो ऑल गुड 0.5 पॉइंट फाइव इज द आंसर लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके गाइस राइट सो अगेन द वैल्यू ऑफ इंटीग्रल माइनस इंफिनिटी टू इंफिनिटी एक्स ओमेगा होल स्क्वायर डी ओमेगा The integral minus infinity to infinity modulus of x omega whole square d omega by the Parseval's theorem. This will be two pi integral minus infinity to infinity mod of x t whole square d t. Very simple question to be solved in second. This is two pi into energy of the signal. This is the energy formula in the time domain, and the time domain waveform is given to you. What is the energy of the rectangular waveform? The energy of the rectangular waveform is simply given by the formula amplitude square into duration. एम्पलीट्यूड वन है ड्यूरेशन टू है दिस इज द ड्यूरेशन दिस इज द एम्पलीट्यूड ये एम्पलीट्यूड या ड्यूरेशन राइट सो दिस इज इक्वल टू टू यूनिट एंड योर टोटल आंसर एनर्जी को टू रखते हुए विल बिकम फोर पाई दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी अमिता प्लीज चेक राइट इट इज फोर पाई द फाइनल आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी फोर पाई Yeah, ABS sir. You will get the PDF. You will get the PDF in the Telegram. Need not worry. Get the PDF in the Telegram. Telegram link. Hello, those who are looking for Telegram right now, I'll share you the Telegram link now once. ठीक है सो दिस इज द टेलीग्राम लिंक दो वॉन्ट टू गेट पी डी एफ एंड ऑल एंड अदर इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट माई सेशन यू विल गेट इट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टेलीग्राम चलो मूव करते हैं अगले क्वेश्चन की तरफ एंड लेट एस ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस द सी टी एफ एस लेट एस ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस द सी टी एफ एस ओके वन सेकेंड गाइज लाइक फॉर सी टी एफ टी अ क्विक फाइव मिनट्स फॉर्मुला रिविजन ओके विल ट्राई टू मेक इट वेरी क्विक ऑलरेडी टेन लेट एस गो टू द क्वेश्चन बट अ क्विक फॉर्मुल फाइव मिनट फॉर्मुला एंड प्रॉपर्टी रिविजन सो वी नो दैट एनी पीरियोडिक सिग्नल एक्स टी कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एक्सपोनशियल समेशन सी के ई पावर जे ओ ओ ई पावर जे के ओमेगा नॉट टी यहाँ पे के आएगा यहाँ पे के आएगा लेट मी री राइट दिस वन एक्चुअली एक्स टी इज गिवेन बाय समेशन ऑफ सी के ई रेस टू दी पावर जे के ओमेगा नॉट टी फॉर ऑल वैल्यूज ऑफ के फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी 
राइट एंड देन ओमेगा नॉट को टू पाई बाई टी रख सकते दैट्स ओके वे आर सी के इज नोन एज द फोरियर सीरीज को एफिशियंट द फोरियर सीरीज को एफिशियंट इज गिवन बाई द फॉर्मुला वन बाई टी इंटीग्रल एक्स टी ई पावर माइनस जे के ओमेगा नॉट टी फॉर वॉट वैल्यू ऑफ टाइम फॉर वन टाइम पीरियड द इंटीग्रेशन हैज टू बी देयर फॉर वन टाइम पीरियड वेन एवर आई से वन टाइम पीरियड इट सिंपली मीन जीरो से टी और इट इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू माइनस टी बाई टू से टी बाई टू बेस्ड ऑन द सिग्नल वी विल डिसाइड बिकॉज इट्स पीरियोडिक वी कैन चूज एनी वन टाइम पीरियड फॉर द इंटीग्रेशन okay right so uh, the ck is known as the fourier series coefficients i think ye kuch typo error hua hai ck are known as the fourier series coefficients okay c0 the dc term or the constant component or it is also known as the what should be c0 so if i put the k equal to 0 e power 0 is 1 so c0 is 1 upon t integral xt dt 1 upon t integral xt dt and 1 upon t integral xt dt is also the average value see you have integrated the signal for one time period it's just like summation okay summation upon total number of observation is average similarly integral for one time period divided by the value of the time period is the area is the average value so c not can also be written as the average value of xt over one time period yeah this is also known as 1 upon t integral means area so you can directly apply this to question area of xt for one period area of xt for one period right the terms k equal to plus minus 1 everybody knows right the frequency k equal to 1 rakha to what frequency will come omega not and minus omega not that is the fundamental frequency and the k equal to plus minus 1 are the fundamental components k equal to plus minus n are referred to as the nth harmonic components right what is the trigonometric fourier series form that the previous one was the exponential fourier series right सम टाइप ऑफ एरर हैज कम फोरियर सीरीज रिप्रेजेंटेशन की बात कर रहे हैं सो व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज नोन एज द एक्सपोनेंशियल फोरियर सीरीज एक्चुअली दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्म इज नोन एज द एक्सपोनेंशियल फोरियर सीरीज ओके एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म द मोस्ट जनरल फॉर्म एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फॉर्म ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फॉर्म ऑफ द फोरियर सीरीज trigonometric form of the fourier series right but that is applicable only for real signals trigonometric fourier transform is defined trigonometric fourier uh, series form is defined only for real signals real signals okay and that is given by c not plus summation ak cos k omega not t bk sin k omega not t okay it's broken into dc component c not is again the dc component plus cosines and sines plus cosines and sines okay now there is a relation between trigonometric and exponential fourier series coefficients okay which you can just note down as the formula once again okay now very very important is the even symmetric and odd symmetric signal they go understand like this you can just this is a very important point to be noticed but you can understand like this so this this contains three different terms one is the dc term one is the cosines and one is the sines so in general trigonometric fourier series contains three different terms dc cosines and sines dc cosines and sines ab dekho dc cosines and sines what about dc let us understand this through a trick let us understand all these calculations through a trick isko aise dekhte hain so what is the xt let me rewrite very important point summation k equal to 1 to infinity ak cos k omega not t प्लस बी के साइन के ओमेगा नॉट टी ओके वंस अगेन आई विल स्पेसिफाई दिस इज डी सी दिस इज को साइंस दिस इज साइंस राइट नाउ वॉट अबाउट द डी सी टर्म डी सी टर्म इज नोन एज इवन सिमेट्रिक वाई डी सी इज इवन सिमेट्रिक डी सी मीन्स कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वॉट इज द वे फॉर्म ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू left hand side right hand side everywhere you get the same value because it is symmetric the value on left hand side and the value on right hand side is equal it is a even symmetric cosine is even symmetric sine is a odd symmetric function we all know that cos theta is even sin theta is odd okay now now ab agar xt even hai agar xt even hai to it will contain what a even signal can only contain even components na right so it will contain dc and cosines fourier series contains dc and cosines 
फोरियर सीरीज कंटेन्स डीसी एंड को ध्यान रखना राइट सो दैट मीन्स देर विल नॉट बी एनी साइन टर्म्स एंड बी के का वैल्यू जीरो हो, जीरो होगा बट ऑन दी अदर हैंड इफ एक्स टी इज ऑड इफ एक्स टी इज ऑड देन वॉट इज द फोरियर सीरीज कंटेन ऑड कैन ओनली कंटेन ऑड ऑड कैन नॉट कंटेन इवन न सो फोरियर टीरीज कंटेन्स साइन टर्म्स so if the signal is odd fourier series contains only sign term this is a very simple logic to remember right right very simple logic to remember for even signal dc term will always be non zero no depends on the waveform if the waveform if the average value turns out to be zero for few signals gajendra but here it is always zero for odd the c not is zero the c not is equal to zero and and ए के ऑल्सो इक्वल टू जीरो ए के ऑलवेज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू द जीरो अब ये देखो आप ओके दिस इज वॉट इज द दिस इज द वे टू रिमेंबर एक्चुअली दिस इज द वे टू रिमेंबर यू कैन पुट डाउन ठीक है राइट दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट आई हैव कंक्लूडेड द इवन सिमेट्रिक एंड नॉट सिमेट्रिक बट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंक्लूडेड अच्छा नाउ देर इज वन मोर केस देर इज वन मोर केस दैट इज नोन एज वॉट दैट इज नोन एज द हाफ वेव सिमेट्री विच इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट there is one more way known as the half wave symmetry i think that is not mentioned in the slide i will write down separately a signal is half wave symmetric if x of t is equal to minus of x t minus t by 2 shifted by half period when it is shifted by half period it is equal to minus of x t you can say like that also ya yeah, minus of x t plus 2 i told you shifted by half period so half period it could be either left shift sorry it could be either right shift or it could be x t plus t by 2 left shift left shift or right shift okay when you shift the signal by half period it becomes minus x t and what is the condition very important condition for half wave symmetric signal it contains only what can anybody say this is a very important condition fourier series contains what fourier series contains what can anybody say here what is the condition because this is very important i am asking you specially tell me guys please tell me guys please quickly for your series anybody anybody quickly i am waiting in the comment box the very important results actually previous one is also very important and this is the procedure to remember for your series contains yes that is what i was looking for the for your series contains only odd harmonics now this means this means ck will be equal to 0 for k equal to even whenever k is even ck will be 0 ck fourier series will only contain odd harmonic terms so all fourier series coefficients will be zero for even value of k all odd harmonic terms will be present and all even harmonic terms will be absent acha ab dekho देखो हाउ यू नो बिफोर वी मूव फॉरवर्ड बिफोर वी मूव फॉरवर्ड लेट मी टेक यू टू वर्ड्स एक छोटे से क्वेश्चन की तरफ जाते हैं लुक इन टू दिस क्वेश्चन हैव अ लुक इन टू दिस क्वेश्चन द फोरियर सीरीज ऑफ अ रियल पीरियोडिक फंक्शन फोरियर सीरीज ऑफ अ रियल पीरियोडिक फंक्शन हैज वॉट फोरियर सीरीज ऑफ अ रियल पीरियोडिक फंक्शन हैज वॉट दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन यू कैन ऑल ट्राई टू आंसर If it is even, it will contain cosine terms. This looks true. If it is even, it cannot contain sine terms. If it is odd, it cannot contain cosine terms. If it is odd, it will definitely contain sine terms. Odd can the odd aega, even can the even aega. So which of the statements are correct? P and S. Which of the statements are correct? P and S. We can also make it as a MSQ type question. We can also make it as a MSQ type question, right? it can be msq type question look at the next question although it's a gate question but i want to show you how odd symmetric even symmetric and half wave symmetric is important in competitive exam also directly ab kya given hai a uh, periodic signal has the trigonometric fourier series expansion i don't know why this word is coming repeatedly has the fourier series expansion given to you x t is equal to a not plus a n cos n omega not t plus b n sin n omega not t for summation n equal to 1 to infinity okay sir x t is equal to minus x minus t and also xt is equal to dekho there are two things given xt is minus x minus t and also xt 
is minus x t minus pi by omega naught and 2 pi by omega naught to time period hota hai. So this is pi by omega naught which is t by 2. So the signal is odd and the signal is also half wave symmetric. This is the half wave symmetric property. What is the correct answer? Okay. Since it is odd, since it is odd, it can only contain odd terms. So since it is odd, since it is odd, right, a n 0, a naught 0, right. Since it is half wave symmetric, right, only odd harmonics, only odd harmonics are present. Now, see, an is equal to 0 for all n, this is correct, an is equal to 0 for all n, c and d is wrong, an is always 0. What about bn? bn is equal to 0, bn is equal to 0, now a or b, don't be confused, bn is equal to 0 for even n, it will contain odd harmonics, odd to hoga, even nahi hoga. Okay, so what should be the correct answer guys? What should be the correct answer? It is the option number a. What should be the correct answer? It is option number A. Nana Ravi, not B, it is A. A B N, okay, will be 0 for on it and odd? No, it will exist for odd. Odd harmonics are present. What I told you, only odd harmonics are present. Even harmonics are absent. Even wala absent hai. Even wala, how will you make a term absent? By making it 0. So, B N will be 0 for N even. Now, see, Especially that is why you know I'm telling you mostly we have brought fresh question some uh, gate question This is a gate simple question why I brought this because students sometimes are confused in that language only Select kya karna hai sab ko chata hai but how to combine the data and how to select the correct option that we are confused sometimes So wo ek dam clarity rakhna hai Right Thik hai Thik hai Chalo this is what is the simple case let's go back there Let us go back So this is what even symmetric, odd symmetric, half wave symmetric. Three very very important. This is also very very important. Or ye wala slide be very very important hap log ke liye. Okay, this is already discussed, discussed, discussed. Convergence of the Fourier series. Convergence of Fourier series. One and the same thing. Dirichlet's condition where the most important thing is signal is absolutely integrable only over any one time period. Integral xt dt, integral mod xt dt should be finite where the integration is for one time period. Ye zero nahi aega pe. I'm sorry. Integration over one time period means integration zero set t or integration minus t by two set t by two properties. I'm so sorry why this is coming up here. Yahan tak to hai. This should not come up here. Okay, so we have two periodic signals xt and yt having the Fourier series coefficient ck and dk. Again, when two signals are added, Fourier series coefficients are added. Time shifting corresponds to the phase term, exponential term once again, e power minus jk omega naught t. Frequency shifting will correspond to, frequency shifting that is ck minus m will correspond to phase term in the time domain and opposite sign. k minus m to e power plus j m omega naught t. Conjugation, X conjugate T has the Fourier transform C conjugate minus omega and the few properties are very similar as we have already discussed in the Fourier transform. If a signal is real, Fourier transform is conjugate symmetric that is C minus K is equal to CK star. If XT is real and even, Fourier series coefficients are also real and even. If XT is real and not, Fourier series coefficients are pure imaginary and not already discussed, na? same as CTFT. Okay, so these are same, these are, you know, you can relate it as same as CTFT, right? Similarly, X minus T has the Fourier series coefficient C minus K. This is also similar to Fourier transform only, right? Time scaling doesn't affect the Fourier series coefficient. Ye dhyan rakhna. Time scaling doesn't affect the Fourier series coefficient. It remains to be same. Okay, convolution. For periodic signals, we do the periodic convolution, of course. So, Fourier series coefficients are multiplied. It is given by tau ck dk. It tau is the time period here. Multiplication corresponds to convolution in the frequency domain. But this is not very important for you. Differentiation, same. You multiply by jk omega naught. And integration, you divide by jk omega naught. Okay. So, just I, I told you the property we are not deriving or discussing. I am just showing you as a slide so that you can refer to it later. Let us now come to a question. Achha, before I come to a question, na, before I come to a question, let me give you a relation. Okay, re let me give you a shortcut to find CK through 
थ्रू सी टी एफ टी देखो अब मैंने क्वेश्चन बोला आपको फाइंड द सी के फॉर द सिग्नल शोन वॉट विल यू डू नॉर्मली वी विल स्टार्ट इंटीग्रेटिंग सी के सर वन अपॉन टी इंटीग्रल एक्स टी ई पावर माइनस जे के ओमेगा नॉट टी डी टी करेंगे वी कैन डू दैट दिस इज ऑल्सो ईजी दिस इज ऑल्सो ईजी ईजी properties of fourier transform chinma i have shown in the beginning i have shown you both the properties not discussed in detail property but i have shown you i have given the revision i have focused on the question dekho this you can do easy integration easy hai but can we make it little bit more easy ab dhyan dena hai yahan pe so the fourier series coefficient ck can also be calculated as 1 upon t can also be calculated as 1 upon t xp k omega not can also be calculated as 1 upon t xp k omega not what is this sir thoda samjha dijiye isko this is a trick to evaluate ck because fourier transform and the fourier transform important formula is always important you have remembered and if you have remembered the fourier transform formula then this is a direct procedure for you to solve the ck 1 upon t xp k omega not what is xp right where i will write down xp omega is the fourier transform of xpt sir now explain what is xpt xpt is one time period okay is the one time period part of xt i'll explain you through the question so i will not integrate now i will not integrate now please pay attention here okay what is the one time period now this is a periodic signal fourier series coefficients of course we calculate for periodic signals so this is a periodic signal okay sir now if this is a periodic signal what is the one time period what is repeated here what is the periodicity it is a periodicity of rectangles rectangles are repeated here the rectangles are repeated here okay so what is there in one time period i will call this as xpt i will call this as xpt okay the fourier transform for one time period is the xpt the fourier transform for one time period is the x sorry <laughs> the one time period of xt is known as the xpt sorry for my words to so, xpt kitna hua one time period contains one rectangle what is that rectangle height is 2 and base is also 2 right so this is like rect t by base what is the base 2 to so rect t by 2 and the height is also 2 and the height is also 2 rect t by 2 height is also 2 so what is the xpt sir xpt is known as 2 rect of t by 2 2 rect of t by 2 what is the xp omega then what is the xp omega now why this procedure is simple why i call it as trick because we all must very well remember the formula of rect it is very important i have shown you in the fourier transform question okay so iska fourier transform kitna hua 2 into 2 sampling omega t by 2 2 sampling omega t by 2 t sampling omega t by 2 t ka value 2 rakh diya yahan pe right so this xp omega is equal to 2 to the 4 4 sampling omega okay now tell me what is the ck the formula i told you 1 upon t xp k omega not acha a time period kitna hai sir what is the time period of this waveform dekh lijiye time period is the minimum time after which repetition occurs that is the fundamental time period so first center at 0 second center at 4 so time period who are four units right if the time period is 4 ओमेगा नॉट भी रख देंगे सो टाइम पीरियड इज फोर तो वन अपॉन फोर एक्स पी के ओमेगा नॉट ओमेगा नॉट इज टू पाई बाय फोर दैट इज पाई बाय टू ये हो गया ओमेगा नॉट तो एक्स पी के पाई बाय टू पुट डाउन द वैल्यू वन अपॉन फोर पुट डाउन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स पी दैट इज फोर सैम्पलिंग ओमेगा बट ओमेगा की जगह क्या रखना है एक्स पी ओमेगा नहीं एक्स पी के पाए बाई टू इन प्लेस ऑफ ओमेगा पुट के पाए बाई टू फोर टू फोर कैंसिल योर आंसर इज योर आंसर इज सी के इज इक्वल टू सैम्पलिंग के पाई बाई टू डन 
और सी के इज इक्वल टू साइन के पाई बाई टू डिवाइड बाय द के पाई बाई टू साइन के पाई बाई टू इज डिवाइडेड बाय द के पाई बाई टू दैट शुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ सी के साइन के पाई बाई टू इज डिवाइडेड बाय के पाई बाई टू साइन के पाई बाई टू इज डिवाइडेड बाय द के पाई बाई टू ओके डन चलो नेक्स्ट सो नाउ इवन ट्राइंगल कैलकुलेटिंग फॉर योर सीरीज को एफिशियंट बाई इंटीग्रेशन फॉर अ ट्राइंगुलर पीरियोडिक वे फॉर्म कैन बी लिटिल कैलकुलेटिव बट हियर आई कैन फाइंड दिस इजीली ओके ओके रवि राइट सो वॉट इज द वन टाइम पीरियड वंस अगेन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द टाइम पीरियड जीरो टू फाइव द नेक्स्ट center is 5 right this is known as the one time period what is that one time period the one time period becomes triangle ka height 3 hai to 3 try otherwise if i only write try it is equal to what it is equal to height 1 so yahan pe 3 try t by t it is going up to 2 a triangle goes from minus t to t here the triangle is minus 2 se 2 so what is the value of capital t it is equal to 2 ठीक आप ट्राइंगल का एक बार रिकॉल कीजिए व्हाट इज द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म फेयर फॉर द ट्राइंगल एक बार रिकॉल करेंगे वी हैव ऑल स्टडी द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ट्राई टी बाय टी इज गिवन बाय द फॉर्मूला टी सैंपलिंग स्क्वायर ओमेगा टी बाय टू तो यहां पे व्हाट इज द वन टाइम पीरियड एक्स पी टी इज टी ट्राई टी बाई टू एंड दैट इज नोन एज द एक्स पी ओमेगा दैट इज नोन एज द एक्स पी ओमेगा That is known as the एक्स पी ओमेगा एंड द आंसर विल बी थ्री ट्राई को अलग कर दे तो ट्राई का आंसर आएगा टी वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपिटल टी टू तो टू सैम्पलिंग स्क्वायर ओमेगा इन टू टू बाई टू एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू दिक्स सिक्स सैम्पलिंग स्क्वायर ओमेगा सो वॉट इज द सी के इट इज गिवेन बाय वन बाई टी एक्स पी के ओमेगा नॉट राइट सो दैट इज वन अपॉन फाइव एक्स पी के ओमेगा नॉट ओमेगा नॉट इज टू पाई बाई टी सो दैट इज इक्वल टू टू पाई बाई फाइव पुट डाउन द वैल्यू आंसर इज वन बाई फाइव सिक्स सैम्पलिंग स्क्वायर ओमेगा ओमेगा की जगह टू पाई के बाई फाइव सो यूर फाइनल आंसर फॉर द फोरियर सीरीज को इफिशियंट सी के इज सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव सैम्पलिंग स्क्वायर टू पाई के बाई फाइव दैट्स इट इजी इजी That is how that trick can help you. Otherwise, integrating this and again calculating the Fourier series coefficients from the scratch will be definitely little time consuming here. Will be definitely little time consuming here. But this part is simple. Ye exam simple ho gaya, right? This part is the simple. So if this is clear to you, is pe baad mein aate hain. Have a note at this question which I am giving you as homework. So this one question is a homework for you. This one question is a homework for you. Find the Fourier series. Find the Fourier series coefficients for the periodic signal. For the following periodic signal, this is the periodic signal. Once again, the approach is. Once again, the approach is. I have given you. I have given you. It is there in the slides, Ravi. Once again, the approach is. Ye minus one. I think this is little missing. Kya? Okay. You can take it as minus one. I think it's missing, but you take it as minus one. No problem. So what is this? Sorry, what is this? This is known as the XPT. Look, na time period two hua hai yahan pe. What is the time period? The impulse, the positive impulse repeats at two. What is there within one time period? Ye to repetition hai. So within one time period, you have two impulses. One is positive going, one is negative going, right? So this is equal to how much? This is equal to delta t. Ye to positive impulse hai. Minus delta. माइनस डेल्टा टी माइनस वन राइट शिफ्टेड इंपल्स विद वेट एस माइनस वन तो माइनस डेल्टा टी माइनस वन ना एवरीबडी नोज वॉट इज द फोर यूर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेल्टा कैलकुलेट एक्सपी ओमेगा एंड देन अप्लाई द फॉर्मुला सी के इज वन बाई टी एक्सपी की ओमेगा नॉट वेरी सिंपल वेरी सिंपल वेरी सिंपल इस पे आ जाते हैं फाइंड द डीसी कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द सिग्नल शोन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द डीसी कॉम्पोनेंट डीसी कॉम्पोनेंट मीन दी नॉट वॉट इज द डीसी कॉम्पोनेंट डीसी कॉम्पोनेंट मीन दी नॉट एंड दैट इज नोन एज DC component means the C naught, and that is given by the formula one upon t integral x t dt. 
1 upon d integral for one time period sir what is the time period look at this signal starts at 0 the next part starts at 2 so time period is 2 the time period is 2 so what is the value of the c naught is equal to 1 upon 2 integral for one time period but from the one time period the integration should only be between 0 to 1 because 1 ke baad to kuch hai nahi there is nothing after that to so integration 0 se 1 e power t dt right and this is equal to this is equal to 1 by 2 e power t integral is e power t lower limit 0 upper limit 1 so answer is e minus e power 0 1 divided by 2 what is the numeric value correspond to the corresponding to this 0.859 or approximately 0 0.86 numerical answer type question 0 0.86 numerical answer type question the answer is 0 0.86 numerical answer type question the answer is 0 0.86 okay cool Ye ho gaya. this is the homework for you already discussed yeah let's come to this question let's come to this question let xt be a periodic signal whose Fourier series coefficients are given to you and consider the following statements which of the above statements are true kya xt real hai kya xt real hai so dekho how will you identify xt is real or not how will you identify xt is even or not how will you identify d by dt of xt is even or not dekho yahan pe dhyan dena what is the value of c minus k c ke to given hai mujhe what is the c minus k it is equal to 2 and it is equal to j half raised to the power half raised to the power minus mod k but minus of mod k is mod k minus of mod k is again mod k so what is the result c minus k is equal to c k number 1 right so x of minus t is equal to x t so yes ye even wala point to sahi baitha this is even. Achha, if a signal is even, its derivative is odd. Basic calculus kya bolta hai? If a signal is even, its derivative will be odd. So this is wrong. Okay, so B to correct hai, second to correct hai. Now let's come to first. Ab xt real hai ki nahi? What is the te test for that? Take the conjugate of these signals. Right. So what is the conjugate for 2? What is the conjugate for 2? It is 2. 2 is a real number. What is the conjugate of jy? What is the conjugate for jy? The conjugate for jy is minus jy. Imaginary part ka sign reverse hota hai na? This is minus j half power mod k for k not equal to 0. Now what you are able to feel that? What you are able to feel that? That is the c minus k equal to c k star? c minus k. c minus k ye ra and c k star ye ra. They are not equal to each other. So C minus K does not equal to the CK star. Yaha minus J hai, here it is the plus J. They are not equal to each other. But if a signal is real, Fourier series coefficients are conjugate symmetric. So this says that Fourier series coefficients are not conjugate symmetric. Fourier series coefficients are not conjugate symmetric. They are not conjugate symmetric. So the signal is not real. So the only option which is correct is option number is opinion is the statement two is the statement two so option number b is correct it is the statement two or option number b is correct statement number two option number b is correct okay Chalo. next question guys ready for you next question let xt be a periodic signal with the fundamental period t and the fourier series coefficient ck derive the fourier series coefficient of each one of the following signal in terms of ck what is the first one there are two signals each one of the following bowl i have given two questions here first xt minus 1 plus xt minus xt plus 1 time shift property what is going to be the fourier series coefficient suppose the fourier series coefficients yt hai pe, x of t minus 1 Pahle property yaad kar le if xt has the Fourier series coefficient ck, what is the Fourier series coefficient for xt minus t naught? Time shift is the phase term, produces the phase term in the frequency domain and this will be given by ck e raised to the power minus jk omega naught t. e power minus jk omega naught t. Oh sorry, e power minus jk omega 
टी नॉट करेक्ट ओमेगा नॉट टी नॉट सो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टी नॉट ये आ जाएगा पूरा ही लिख लेते हैं द वाई टी इज गिवेन बाय एक्स ऑफ टी माइनस वन प्लस द एक्स ऑफ टी प्लस वन सो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द डी के लेट से दाई टी हैज द फोरियर सीरीज को एफिशियंट डी के एंड सी के ई पावर माइनस जे के ओमेगा नॉट टी नॉट का वैल्यू वन है प्लस सी के ई पावर प्लस जे के ओमेगा नॉट टी नॉट यहां पे प्लस है तो प्लस टी नॉट एंड टी नॉट इज अगेन वन सो वॉट इज कॉमन हेयर सी के इज कॉमन यू हैव ई पावर माइनस जे के ओमेगा नॉट प्लस ई पावर प्लस जे के ओमेगा नॉट एंड ई यूलस आइडेंटिटी ई पावर जे थीटा प्लस ई पावर माइनस जे थीटा इज टू कॉस थीटा सो दिस इज इक्वल टू सी के इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू कॉस थीटा एंड थीटा इज इक्वल टू के ओमेगा नॉट ओके सो आंसर इज टू कॉस के ओमेगा नॉट टी टू कॉस के ओमेगा नॉट सी के ऑप्शन नंबर ए भाई ओमेगा नॉट को रख सकते हैं ना वॉट एल्स इज लेफ्ट सो दिस इज टू सी के कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा नॉट इज टू पाई बाई टी तो ओवरऑल टू पाई के डिवाइड बाई टी ऑप्शन नंबर ए ऑप्शन नंबर ए ऑप्शन नंबर ए हाय केशव यस अमिता चिन्मोय करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर ए ऑप्शन नंबर ए ठीक है so based on the time shift property of fourier series coefficient second part i told you there are two parts on this the second part is find the fourier series coefficient for x 3t minus 1 now dekho the point to be noticed here is bhai if xt has the fourier series coefficient ck what is the fourier series coefficient for xt minus t not ye to humne revise kar hi liya hai that is ck e raised to the power minus j k omega not t not but what is the fourier series coefficient for xt we have revised one property we have revised one property time scaling does not affect the fourier series coefficient time scaling does not affect the fourier series coefficient to uski wajah se ck hi rahega so now let us come to the yt part so yt is a combination x of 3t minus 1 right so what is the fourier series coefficient for xt minus 1 x t minus one तो last case पे आ जाएंगे and again by the precedence rule again by the precedence rule I am going for shifting and then scaling तो first shift किया तो c k e power minus j k omega not into t not t not का value one है तो e power minus j k omega not then x of three t minus one ये आ गया y t x of three t minus one so scaling is not going to affect the above answer so it remains c k e power minus j k omega not so what is the answer right what is the answer what is the answer but does it affect the omega not sorry does it affect the omega not ye bhi ek bar dekh lo you know, some of you might have the right does it affect the omega not ye bhi dekh lo tell me e power minus yahan tak to theek hai now x 3t fourier series coefficient to same rahega what about the omega not what about the omega not answer here so what is the meaning of x 3t x 3t represents compression can i say like this x 3t represents the compression okay sir no problem x 3t represents the compression tell me think about this is pe based not directly like this is pe based a gate pe question bhi raha hai we use the property e power minus j k omega not where omega not is the fundamental time period where omega not is the fundamental time period c k mein k does not affect k does not affect think about this that's what i'm telling you in the c k k does not affect but what about the omega not dekho so this is the compression so what happens the new time period suppose t dash will be compressed compression of signal means time period is compressed time period is compressed so what is going to be the new frequency If a signal is compressed in time, it is expanded in the frequency domain. Yeah, reverse भी बोल सकते हैं ना If time period is one third, frequency will become three times. So what will be the frequency? देखो It is टू pi upon t by थ्री और that is equal to सिक्स टू pi by थ्री और सिक्स omega नॉट That is equal to सिक्स omega नॉट So this you have to change here. So this becomes how much? This becomes सिक्स omega नॉट So what this is going to do? Right? This is going to change the frequency. this is what going to change the frequency so what is my final answer my final answer is ck e raised to the power minus jk up uh, minus jk 
सिक्स ओमेगा नॉट सिक्स ओमेगा नॉट इज लाइक सिक्स पाई बाई टी ओके करेक्ट आंसर इज डी करेक्ट आंसर इज डी करेक्ट आंसर इज डी सो अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू देर इज नो अफेक्ट इन दिस के के रिमेन्स एज इट इज राइट फोर इयर सीरीज को एफिशियंट सी के रिमेन्स एज इट इज बट ओमेगा नॉट तो चेंज होगा ना करेक्ट आंसर इज डी अ क्वेश्चन प्रोबेबली कैन मेक यू कमिट मिस्टेक अ क्वेश्चन कैन मेक यू प्रोबेबली प्रोबेबली कैन मेक यू कमिट द मिस्टेक ओके अ क्वेश्चन विच कैन प्रोबेबली मेक यू कमिट द मिस्टेक सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दैट वन अ रैंडमली क्रिएटेड पासवर्ड फॉर द टूडे पीडीएफ एफ टी एफ एस ओके सो इट्स बीन वन आवर थर्टी मिनट्स ऑलमोस्ट लिटिल मोर देन वन आवर थर्टी मिनट्स ऑफ सेशन okay but yeah ctfs and ctft we have so many questions many more questions but still in this session we have covered quite good number of questions practice as much as you can but we have covered some decent and good number of questions okay yeah of course everything is property property has to be very solid if you want to conquer all the questions of signals ravi otherwise every time you have to sit and derive that is why whether it is ctft or ctfs i first revised and then we came up here right chalo so for the password for today's is ct sorry ftfs randomly for your transform for your series ftfs please note that the pdf will be shared in the telegram group with this password so okay guys uh, with this i will just stop the today's session bye bye see you tomorrow now what is there tomorrow guys at the same time tomorrow at the same time so we will have the class at 9 pm only tomorrow at the same time that is 9 pm we are going to deal with the question practice of the laplace transforms tomorrow the question practice of the laplace transforms telegram link maine ek bar share kiya tha na i'll share it again okay laplace transform question practice okay but again like today again what i will do tomorrow is make you revise the properties and formula important formula of laplace pehle ek bar wo quickly review karenge so that in questions we are fluent we are having that temperament and speed in that question so all list of properties all list of formula we will revise once okay so that it is comfortable and it is easy going for you chalo guys with this i'll sign off bye bye thank you stay safe take care good night see you tomorrow at 9 pm with the laplace transform yet another important interesting and uh, you know question filled session bye bye